Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Deke J. Wilson video. All right, so in the previous videos, I showed you how to uh, design and draw the blueprint for a dragster. I also showed you how to use the bandsaw to, use, to cut out the dragster. And then uh, we used the belt and disc sander, then we used uh, an orbital sander. Now, the last step, or not, well, I'm not going to say to say the last step, but one of the final steps in building your CO2 dragster, okay, is putting on the wheels. And I kind of want to go over uh, putting on the wheels. Now, there's a lot of different ways in which to do this, um, but you'll find the way that works best for you. Some people, what they'll do is they'll cut, they'll cut the axles to make them shorter. Um, but it is all up to you and the materials that you have available to you, okay? So for this particular project, you wanna to wanna to make sure you have some scissors, the wheels, and these are, these are my front two wheels and these are my rear wheels, okay? And you're gonna need the two axles and a straw, okay? So the first thing that I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to want to measure the distance. I'm gonna to wanna to install both of my uh, put my axles together, okay? And I want to do this outside the vehicle for, for right now because I want to measure this distance right here, okay? So once I measure this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to then cut my straw to be about that length, okay? So that's about where it is. And since I'm right-handed, I'm going to cut my straw right there. Whoa. Gotta watch these straws, they're gonna go flying. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my rear wheels. Gonna measure that distance. And all this will, and all this will make sense of exactly why we're doing this. Um, and really, really briefly. Okay, so I want to measure my distance here. So it's a tiny bit shorter. Okay, so now I'm going to put these in. I'm going to try them out and see um, how these two straws um, fit and how my wheels fit into my vehicle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my straw into my axle hole, okay? Then once I do that, I'm going to put the axle through and you'll see that, you're gonna, that your axle is gonna come out both sides and then I'm going to install the other wheel. might have to make it a little shorter just to make sure that it rolls smoothly because again rolling friction you don't want anything that's going to slow down the wheels from rolling because that's going to slow down your vehicle okay and then I'm going to do the same thing with my rear I'm going to put this straw through and then put these through put my uh, wheels on, okay? And I can tell right now my wheels are a little tight on the back. Okay, all right. So it rolls smooth. Pretty solid. All right, so now what I'm going to do is now that I know that my wheels fit in nice and neat, um, and my um, and my vehicle rolls smooth, I'm going to now take these off. Okay, you can say, Mr. Wilson, Mr. Wilson, Mr. Wilson, Dick J. Will, why you, you just did all that work? Why are you going to take it off? Well, the reason being is right now these straws are still mobile. Okay. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue in there. A little bit of glue on the outside of this and then push it in so that way the straw actually glues onto the inside of the axle hole okay and that will secure it in place so that is why you want to make sure that your um, that your straws are the right size actually this one is Let me push this out that's why you want to make sure that your straws are the right size and they fit nice and neat in. All right. So I'm going to grab some glue and I will show you that. And then we are pretty much be me except for the painting of our amazing, amazing vehicle. All right. So I have my glue. And now I'm going to put some glue. You don't need, you do not need to put a lot of glue at all. Okay, just going to smear that glue on. Now, time to put the, uh, the straw in. Okay, so the back is done. Now time for the front. Some glue right here in the middle. And slide it. Slide it all the way in. Make sure that it's equal out on both sides. And then you can wipe off any excess glue. Okay. Now at this point, because of the fact that you do not want any glue on your axles or any glue on your wheels, slowing your vehicle down, let it dry overnight or let it dry for a couple hours and then you can install your wheels and then um, fit, finish up your vehicle, do any extra things that you might want to do to it, whether it's sanding or whether it's painting. But as of this point, you have a solid balsa wood dragster ready to go. All right. Again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. You'll always be the first to get some new uh, Deke J. Wilson STEM videos that are coming out. All right. Thanks again for watching and uh, have fun. Remember, go build something cool. Engineering is fun. And uh, go out and do something. Be outside, get your hands in the dirt, do something fun.